I'm not that kind of girl. I yes. see. That's good though. Well, you know what? It's not unusual for people to be camera shy and not to want to be photographed and things like that. A lot of times people don't feel as though that photographs and videos of themselves resonate well. So what are you what's your thinking about social media? Um, I mean, I don't mind social media. I feel like like I, I'm just was a late adapter. Like I didn't have, I didn't really engage in social media until high school. Like maybe, but I, I think it's a good way to connect with people that you don't see every day. Um, but I feel like there's, 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 there has to be a balance, just like everything else in life. So. Wow. Thank you, Jaleesa, for that. Well, what about you, Stefan? What's the question? <laughs> what's I love the fact of... that you like, like what, what you're thinking about social media and how it's utilized today. Oh, um, I think social media and how it's utilized today is independent upon the individual that's, that's utilizing it. Um, I think um, it's funny when Jaleesa said it's a great way to connect with other people. I was thinking it's a great way to stay connected to people that you already know. You know, you went to high school with someone. It's like five, seven years later, you still can have some type of knowledge of what their life is and touch base with them on major life points. Um, my third cousin had his third child um, about, about two weeks ago and my family, my mom and my sister were discussing this because we saw it on social media. We saw, we saw it on Facebook and we sent him a message and we said congratulations and we said wow we didn't even know that his wife was pregnant again and it was a, it was a whole thing. So um, to me it's, it's great. Yeah. So you look at it as a way of staying connected with friends and family that you all we already know, and where Jaleesa, you look at it as, well, um, maybe it's a way, a uh, platform to develop new friends and interests. Yeah, I feel like when I first, in the, like, I, I, I have an interest in adult ballet, but not a lot of people, like, you can walk up to them and, like, do you, do you have any interest in, in, in ballet? And they're like, no, I don't have any interest. But if you go online, there is a whole group of people all around the world, and that's how they connect through social media. I've met so many people who have similar interests to me just through social media because, like, it's just a way for people to connect to in a way that you really can't really connect in person like I'll never meet might not never meet people um like they'll be from around the world or they'll be from from different country or something like that I don't think that that's something I can't really do every day but right. I could from my phone or from my tablet or from my computer Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Helene, you have the opposite experience as it relates to social media, being photographed and things like that. So is that because your experience with social media really hasn't been favorable? No, I wouldn't say that. I think I just have a different approach to using social media. I'm not against it and everything. And I agree with um, what Jaleesa and Stefan said about staying connected and maintaining those connections. I think my um, primary usage of social media is knowledge sharing because as humans, we're all curious and I think it's an important platform where we can make our voices heard and share our experiences, our knowledge about certain things or certain topics that we don't know about. Awesome. So one of the things we do with Fifty Shades of Purple Against Bullying, also known as FSP Against Bullying, is we use social media as a way to build a safe platform for our members. So our social media group is a private group. You're vetted before you're in the group. Most times you're invited to join the group. And you ask, uh, we ask a couple questions like, what drew you to this organization? Have you ever been bullied directly or indirectly associated with anyone who has? So we get a good feel as to why the person wants to be associated in our group. We do monitor all posts. No post is approved until it is uh, reviewed by one of the administrators or the monitors of our social media 
uh, uh, group. And now our page is completely controlled by our administrators. Uh, so it creates this safe community. People can either look and get resources and information from our page, or we also can celebrate. We do Wednesday tips. And right now that's a couple board members do short videos up to three to five minutes about Wednesday's tips about what's going on. What are some of the the practices out there to protect yourself in the workplace uh, from experiences with bullying or protect yourself in the schools and the communities. So we use it in a very, very positive way to support our members. Now, it's not the only way we're going to be using uh, social media. I also consider newsletter is a form of social media. So understanding that social media that we know more commonly called Facebook and Instagram and Twitter is not the end all, the be all. We have a number of, of members that feel safer with the fact that email is a lot more within their control. So we're going to be launching our very first newsletter with the help of Helene. Oh. She's going to be the official copywriter for our newsletter, helping us with the architecture of it, the structure, identifying and screening content, actually doing some rewrites. So we're very happy to welcome Helene to the marketing committee to work on that project uh, for our new newsletter, as well as talking to you about how to incorporate, this is Jaleesa talking to you, Jaleesa, about how to incorporate our newsletter into our website. So not only using our listserv to share our newsletter with our members, but also having that newsletter, which will end up being maybe a monthly or quarterly. We'll talk about how frequently that should be based on our analysis, but how to incorporate that newsletter into our website. So that's one of the projects you'll be working on. Now talking about quality of content, that's you, Stefan. The kinds of things that bring and interest youth. The quality of the content is gonna be very important and the fact that you've worked with so many youth populations and have a very clear understanding about the kinds of things that young people that would interest them because words are just words until someone starts to read them and digest it and take it on, take it in and learn from it. So that's where you're gonna come in, helping us build that information, information gathering, build the information that's gonna be useful and effective to our community. So the three of you guys, I'm very happy that you did come out today to tour our offices here at 1901 Market Street and welcome you officially to the FSP Against Bullying family. Round of applause, yay! <laughs> big sisters and big brothers. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely.